Hi, friends! This is Luminaire! You ready to watch another Let's Play with me? Okay! Great, let's get started. Okay, I have today off, so I have time to do a Let's Play for once. Ugh. And today, if you haven't uh, guessed by the title, we're tackling uh, Etna. Uh, I'm just gonna go past the bill for it. I did have a fight where I failed, and then, you know, it took a long time before I could uh, begin the next fight and, you know, level up my characters. But I'm like, eh, I'll just show the one where I beat her. So, this, uh, right now the footage is right after I beat Razbarrel, actually. So, what I like to do is usually I, I beat the first one right away. No, I mean, right after I beat the first one, I pass the next bill so I can see how strong the next set of enemies are, you know how futile it seems until I do a lot of leveling up. So here's the level 300 Raspberry you get, which seems good at the time, but, you know, the, that benchmark gets surpassed pretty quickly in this game. Sort of the scene. But, now, uh, it, uh, I get to add one more reason, as if I didn't have enough already, as to why this guy sucks donkey balls. And... I'll begin to explain that as soon as the next fight actually begins. But... I had received some requests as to go over, you know, what an ultimate class should be. Um, which I think is a good question because you'll get to a point at some point where you probably want to spend more time on one character than another, and if you want to do... It really comes down to, since, since pretty much every character can learn every natural, uh, since human characters at least can learn every normal skill, I mean every weapon skill, and every character's capable of getting level 300 aptitudes, there's really only two factors, oh, and, and because of the aptitudes, every character is capable of getting max stats, um, which is like 6.5, which is like billion or something in each set. It, it's pretty fucking high. I, I can't remember. But, um, so that really leaves it down to, uh, two factors. Uh, one, the character class's base ability. I'll show you the power of sardines! You're gonna want a character that has a really good damage e uh, ability, most likely. Two, um, any specific character skills. So, any, you know, special characters, like Val, has... You know, Tyrant Flugued, and if you just have to have that move, that's something you can consider also. And the third, uh, appeal. Yeah. I mean, theoretically, let's say Fuka has the best ability and best attacks in the game. She doesn't. But, what if you just don't fucking like Fuka? Well, you don't have to fucking use her. That's what I'm saying. The nice bodied appears played any other Disgaea games, that joke should be quite apparent. So, let's go off uh, base abilities for example. What are some good base abilities to have? Who has some good base abilities? Uh, let's start with Val, for example. Val has a pretty good one, where anytime anybody kills uh, an enemy unit, his attack increases by 5%. That's not something to shy away from. On the other hand, you can get you can go for a character with more instant gratification. Uh, Laharl, for example, all of his attacks, um, all of his special moves automatically have 20% added damage just from his base move, uh, his base skill, ability, base ability. <laughs> you know that's pretty damn good too. Then of course there's also a bunch of DLC characters which are confirmed to come out eventually, but I don't have that list offhand and I couldn't begin to tell you. So, for, so pick a good DLC, not DLC, pick a good um, skill you want to use. And don't forget, you can always use characters like Artina and stand next to a male to just increase their stats even further. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's the story. No! The ripples eventually become waves, which will engulf everything. I'm not 
not wrong. The world is wrong. They are. While denying everything, the waves surge higher and race forward. Sorry for the wait. Here's your Darjeeling tea. It's a blend of spring Darjeeling leaves. Please enjoy the fresh, fruity aroma. Mmm, lovely! How about mushroom juice? It'll give you energy! Hmm, this one is a bit indescribable. But I'll take it anyway. It's a high society thing after all. Desco's gourmand parfait is just as expensive as that one, and it's tasty too. Great, thanks. Good job in bringing it to me. <laughs> Yay! My dessert is so much better! See? It's super limited pudding from the Sea of Gehenna! I'm glad someone knows the deal around here. How did you get this? Well, I would go to any lengths to make you happy, nice body master Etna. Mm-hmm. I am nice bodied. My charm attracts anyone of any age or sex. Every one of you will gladly kneel before me and lose control! <laughs> Isn't that right, everyone? Yes! Nice body! Master Edna, I'm done cleaning! We polished every surface we could find! Cool, thanks. Can you rub my shoulders later? Yes! Nice body! I'm getting tired of all these desserts. I want something different now. Isn't there anything else? I've prepared something for you. Here, Master Etna, it's a chilled noodle salad. You bonehead! I don't even consider that to be food. Ah, my eyes! The sauce got in my eyes! <laughs> A noodle went up my nose! What am I? Were we chanting nice bodied or something? Nice bodied? Who were we supposed to be talking about? Duh! Me, of course! Nuh uh, no way! How can your curveless ironing board body qualify you as nice body? But I'm pretty sure we were praising her for being nice bodied. The abnormal phenomenon again. Huh? There's no abnormality going on in here. I just became the president without even knowing it. Miss Etna, that is abnormal enough. I thought you were aiming to become an overlord. Do you know who she is also? I'm amazed at how wide your social network is, Lady Flan. But I've been through a lot, you know. So is she from another netherworld too? That's right, but it's a different one from mine. Other worlds are there. This is such a weird dream. Dream? This is reality, girlfriend. A reality where I became president and everyone praises my nice body. That's your fantasy, not reality. Give me back my title of president. You can have it back anytime you want. I'm not even interested in being the president anyway. But. Not giving in about being nice bodied!
Did you enjoy that nice little repartee that Michelle Ruff had with herself? Because if it wasn't already apparent, uh, she's the voice of Desco and Edna. So, I always get a little amused when I see her talk to herself. So we have a level 500 Etna, as opposed to the level 300 Rasbarrel. She increases the stats of all of her printies by 50%, who are also on an enemy base increase by 50% as well. And also, co uh, so coincidentally, all the printies have a skill that means they cannot be lift, which means they cannot be thrown, which means they cannot explode. Which means I do have to defeat all of them by themselves. Now, here's where the guide is complete bullshit. And I was fool enough to fall for its advice. Because here's what it says about this level. Uh, give me one sec, let me just find it, actually. I mean, the first time I came here, I stood no chance, obviously, so I did quite a bit of power leveling. Much better items, too. There we go. Yes, nice body. It's at the time. Shut up, guys. No one likes you. All right, Etna's back, but to earn her loyalty, you must be another special event. Go back to the Senate and pass another bill to enable this encounter. Etna's fight requires a group of high-end gear or levels that surpass 500. Her King Prunies get a benefit of an enemy boost for the early part of the fight, so they deal massive amounts of damage. You lose people quickly, and Etna herself is no slouch. Winning with an underleveled party requires a clever plan. The locations of red and yellow blocks seem superfluous at first. I'll you can neither you. pop them nor can you reach them. The blue block near th that area can't be thrown into the other colors either. God, Think carefully. A blue Brace geo block yourself. that provides the enemy boost would turn around the entire map blue if it's popped. That would make everyone invincible. So you might think that much match would be impossible to win after that. But that's not the case. Pan along the back wall of the map. There's two small sections of neutral tiles. If you rush out and pop the blue geo block, your characters will become invincible. Your goal is to then throw the enemies onto those small neutral patches and obliterate them. You can't be killed, but they won't be able to fight back into the invincible area. So this is e either an easy slow match or a fast run through the gauntlet. Play it however you prefer. Either way, you'll win at like du dubious allegiance. Here I go. Uh, yeah. Uh, guide? about that. Maybe you didn't even bother to highlight the printing kings, but as I mentioned, they cannot be lifted. They cannot be thrown. So how do you propose getting them onto that area? Not to mention, when you pop it, not only do you all become invincible, but it all becomes no entry. And when something is no entry, that means you can't move. Through, through onto that square, even if you're on the square already. So if you if you're on a square that becomes no entry and you're surrounded by no entry tiles, no one can move. I'll no one. This is not a strategy at all. This is a gross oversight due to massive negligence and not actually even testing their own hypothesis. There is no way they tried this themselves to get it to work. It's like, oh, you could just do this. This is how you would do that. No, bullshit. That's not how you did it. And I can tell it's not how they did it, because there's a picture of of a Laharl of all things. How is that possible? Because you don't get him before this fight with a ball sword. So clearly they used, like, cheats or they hacked the game just to beat these levels. How the fuck would they know what strategy is when they just power through this with a character you shouldn't have by now? This is utter horseshit. Fucking guides, man. Fucking great again. It's just not possible. Their strategy. Alright. But, okay. So, obviously, what do I have to do? Well, I have to defeat the printies one by one. Fortunately, they're spaced out in such a way that I could take my time. They don't really move. So I can sort of do... I can sort of defeat them one by one with uh, range attacks. And then save the rest for Etna. You know, you're gonna have to do a big combo, obviously. And unfortunately, you're just gonna ha kind of have to deal with the um, enemy plus the enemy boost fifty percent. Oh, look how little health she has left. So, uh, fuck the guide. Never do what it says. It's never right. 
yet again. Here I go. Do it my way, the Luminaire way. It's kind of like the Gurren Lagann way. Yeah. And you're dead. Even with the Nick. Thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Okay. Uh, me? where was I? Oh yes, ultimate characters. <laughs> um, if you're inclined towards magic, a measle wouldn't be that bad, specifically against single targets, since he does 50% more damage against single targets, and he also has that really bitchin' uh, Delta of Death spell. I think that's a really cool one. And he can take event since he be a mage, he can take advantage of elemental force and do times two damage with all of his elements anyway. So he's a good nominee for an all-time best character. As for generic classes, um, Skulls probably do the best magic damage since it's 30% more. Uh, Omnial Monks actually do the most against multiple enemies, the more en multiple enemies they hit, so you can consider that. Um, you probably don't want an ultimate monster, however you do want some really good monsters for the purpose of, um, fusion or magic change. Yep, Vesco's doing well for herself. And I can't tell if I learned Ominous Dance or not, but make sure you get, uh, a witch doctor for these fights, or a shaman, yeah, shaman, and learn the one that decreases all the enemies' evasion by 20%. It's so handy. It's the only one of them moved. And I'm a fucking wood golem, so I take it like a champ. Back them back to full health. Yay, as Desco would say. So that's it in terms of abilities. Special skills is only really pertains to the special characters. Zeta, when you get him, has a beast in Neo Zeta Beam and a S single attack badass overdrive. So he's a good candidate as well. If not for that glitch where his weapon proficient uh, his weapon skills don't gain a rank. However, I heard that was patched, and if that was the case, you could easily make uh, Zeta your best character in anything. Because he also has that really good skill where uh all of his any his um, attack stat is based off his highest stat. However, if you're going to max all stats out anyway, that ability unfortunately becomes kind of um, unnecessary. And also, any level 300, I mean any level max level character should have the ability of uh, violence, which you can get through the character world. Ah, uh, damn it. Basically, it's you gain 50% less experience, but your stats are increased by 20%. So, I think that was it. Was it stats or damage? I don't have the list, but most it's like a general useful skill for pretty much any uh, maxed out character. And of course, monsters do have the advantage of three abilities, but... Eh, I'd rather use a human because I like weapon skills more. It's just more variety. And you can magic change into them. However, I won't deny the really cool appeal of walking around with a giant ass wood bullet. Especially if you pair him up with a zombie where he'll fully heal health and SP with every enemy he kills with a neutral with a physical attack. That's pretty cool. Well, obviously, I haven't personally. I would make Arkham my ultimate character, even if she wouldn't do the maximum max damage. But God save me, I can't help but like those space knights. But that's just me. I like this song. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, I believe after this, if I had the time today, which I should, but I have some other stuff I need to take care of, since I'm looking into, uh, I mean, now that I, I have a part-time job, and now I need to look, go back to school, so I'm gonna go back to school for this, visual cinema, digital cinematography. 
Oh yeah, this is a, this is a good trick. I'm just going to use him as a lure. Of course, I also could have lifted up Etna. She does not have the skill where she can't be lifted. And then throw her closer to me so I can do a better combo. However, it's not a wise idea when most of my characters have already moved. And it looks like only you can. An explosion that blows a mass amount of rocks and volcanic ash up into the air. I don't know about you, but I would not protect myself from falling, burning rock with a pan. But that's just me. I'm like, hmm, that did not work as well as I'd hoped. <laughs> Magic extension, it's so cheap. This is why I say make a professor, people. Now, a professor might not be a bad idea. Simply because she's the only one that can use... Well, no, not for your maximum damage character. But she's your best-ass support character. Match extension, move up, jump up. I love these skills. <laughs> Burn! Ooh, look at that. 127,000. In fact, I almost killed her with just Arcweed. Apparently, I did a lot of leveling up for Arcweed. <laughs> Which I hadn't even noticed. So, yeah, I, I'm not too worried. In fact, I think Desko's probably going to kill the both of them. Oh, Arcweed. Is there anything you can't do? Ready? Yeah, I'm going to school for digital cinematography. So I can get better at this shit. Make videos, post them on the net. I'm going to be a professional one day. And when I am, I'm going to have to delete this video because this is a retarded comment. <laughs> Alrighty. So I still have a lot of research to do in that regard. Anyway. Uh... Yeah. After this for today, by the end of the night, I'm going to try to upload the first part, if not multi-parts, of the Skyward... Skyward Sword. Let's play. It's about time I got back to that. Uh, a lot of guys have been uh, anticipating it, which is cool. I would have thought most people that want to watch that game have already played it by now. And I still haven't beaten it. Um, not because it's so long, which it is, but I just haven't been playing it that much. I, I'm, I'm like only halfway through the game. I, I, I and you know, I, I hope it gets a lot better than it's been. I think it's been alright. I mean, it's a Zelda game, and Zelda games are good. But, um, I don't know, it's, I, I enjoyed uh, Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time a lot more than this so far. Hopefully it gets a lot better. We'll see. Motion controls are a mixed bag. I think the game is just slow. It just takes a long time to get anything done. I mean, you can get through the first dungeon the Deku, the Deku tree in the first game in, you know, in like 20 minutes from the beginning of the game, from, from start to finish. Relatively easy. By the time you're done with the first temple in Skyward Sword, it'll have been about two to three hours. Just to, like, find the temple, and then another 30 minutes minimum to beat it your first time through. That's the difference and disparage in time in this game. So it feels like somewhat more of a trudge. Oh, and I absolutely hate the third dungeon. It's probably my least favorite dungeon in the whole series. I mean, a lot of people say they hate the water temple, which I really don't mind. This temple, uh, but I've gotten into that already. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll get more into that. <laughs> what can I even say about this attack? the rainbow! Just barely. Mi Mizuho is a Onegai teacher reference for those who are unaware. <laughs> and for those who don't know what that is, I'm not about to explain it to you. Yeah! No way out! You lose your Fenric! Ha! 
So yeah, this is obviously after a lot of not important deal for um, abuse. And a lot of character. I did a lot of character world. And happened to get him both of the S rank skills. So My team is unbeatable! <laughs> See, he's, he's just giving up. He's not going to use special attacks anymore. I healed that in my sneak. Now, my only dilemma is who would I want to finish this character with? This is probably the best ass raping I've done in terms of an event battle so far. Most of the other ones so f um, beforehand, I lost like the majority of my units. This one, this is like the first one I'm overly prepared for. And now I'm just being a douche. I'm just making a giant Nesco. Giant magic change. I'm like, eh, let's make this one. Let's go for as much damage as possible. So we got giant ass Desco. So that means if I'm surrounded by allies, I'm going to have my attack increase by 20% each. Probably going to cast Braveheart, so right now my attack is at 32,000. That's at 38,000. We're going to cast Braveheart. Oh, I guess I already cast it before. Here I come. Now we're at 51,000 attack. And we're going to use my strongest move, Soaring non upple Or Martial Transform. About the same. But I think this one looks cooler. It's a debating Crimson Rain, I guess. Just because I like seeing it with a big sword, but... DIE, PENGUIN! <laughs> I'm a dick. There it is indeed. Gah! How could I lose? Now do you see the truth? You're not the president, nor are you nice bodied. You're just another demon. You're an everyday demon with no bumps, arches, contours, or curves. You're as two dimensional as a cutting board. so angry her friend was talked down to of course lady flan would be offended considering her personality uh i'm pretty sure that's not the only reason as we can all see miss edna's body is definitely super flat but you didn't have to be so rude in pointing it out excuse me what did you say Look who's talking! You're like the galactic ambassador from from Planet Flat Turn. So, so you're so flat. They use your chest to measure if a shelf is straight. Ooh, another battle breaks out. This is the saddest battle ever. So stupid. This isn't. I am dead serious here. Miss Edna's right. This is a battle of breasts in our pride as ladies. Please calm down, you two. The size of your breasts isn't important to us girls. Hey, who is this girl anyway? Isn't she your flunky flan? What's with her preachy tone and her breast size? She didn't mean it with her big breasts and all, but that kind of makes it worse in a way. What? No, please. The there is something else that's more important right now. Uh, the the abnormal phenomena. Oh yeah. 
I remember someone mentioned that earlier. Fine. Okay. That abnormal phenomenon must have transformed my nice body into this one. Yes, Miss Edna! That's why you became the president! And my nice body was replaced by this flat chest! Huh? Well, I think you've always looked like that. Wake up, Flan! Don't let this go to your head! We have to find out what's causing this abnormal phenomenon and get our reality back! As well as my nice body back! Uh, okay! This abnormal phenomena is slowly becoming a world crisis, isn't it? Yes. For my lord's future, we must find out who is trying to control the universe. Trying to control the universe? This recurring phenomenon has got to be more severe than we think. Whoever is trying to control the universe must be pulling the strings from somewhere. I see. It must be true if you say so. Who, other than Judge Nemo, would think of such a thing? Do we have a plan? Yes, of course. Though, it's just an idea at this point. As expected of my servant, Fenric. So, what should we do? I've already set the plan in motion. Please let me handle this, Lord Val. Okay, then let me handle being the president! 